Let's talk about the movie docs. A movie docs is when a movie that you're watching makes reference to another movie and that movie connects to the movie you're watching. So for example, in Barbie, there's a scene where a girl randomly says, oh my God, I feel like I can really understand the Snyder Cut Justice League version. How in the fuck can Margot Robbie who's in the DCU universe as Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn. She's a beautiful, looks like Margot Robbie, plays Harley Quinn. She was in Suicide Squad, which is DCU. Which, And in Snyder Cut, there's Jared Leto, Joker. So Jared Leto, Joker exists. There's a Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. And then she's in Barbie land going, oh my God, there's a Margot Robbie movie called... Uh, you know, but Batman v Superman, Donna Justice, and you're watching this and you're like, wait, if you're right there and you know Zack Snyder because you worked with him, but now I'm in a movie doing a movie docs telling you, hey, Snyder Cut, Zack Snyder made a movie for Batman, Superman, Justice League. It's like watching Wonder Woman going, oh my God, did you ever see that Netflix movie with The Rock? where he was uh, stealing artifacts, and you're like, yes, I know, I saw it, because I'm Gal Gadot, and I was... A you see, it, a movie docs is a bad thing. It's like, it's like movie docs has happened, and here's another example. Robert Downey Jr. looks at Thor and says, move it, Lebowski. Number one, Lebowski is Obadiah Stane. Lebowski is Obadiah Stane. So how in the fuck... Could there be Obadiah Stane, who's going to be in The Big Lebowski, but he's an Iron Man? And it's and another paradox is Star Wars, when Spider-Man's like, oh, the Star Wars movies. They did the prequels. Samuel L. Jackson is the base Windu. How is he Nick Fury? And you go, oh, well, it's that they both are two people in the world who are different and they look like each other. Okay, that's a movie docs like the movie Last Action Hero where Jack Slater and Arnold Schwarzenegger are two different people, but they meet each other. Movie docs. Here's what happens when you do a movie docs. You end up killing people in real life. Real people like Stan Lee end up dead when you do a movie docs. The best thing you can do to kill a movie docs like in Barbie is you always introduce a new movie. A movie docs can be killed if you introduce a story for a brand new movie. So if Barbie has a story, now you have to give a story called Ratatouille. It's a story about a rat who works at a restaurant and he helps a chef make his meals and he hides the rat and the rat has his family, wants to come in the kitchen and eat all the food. But they don't want rats in the kitchen. And then he's the chef. And he's using the rat. Ratatouille. Now that's an old movie. But you need to make a new Ratatouille. You need to make a brand new story. And that's how you kill the movie docs. You come up with a Ratatouille. An Incredibles. A Finding Nemo. A brand new one. Or maybe I think sequels can help. But it doesn't really help when you do sequels. You got to do a brand new movie to kill the movie docs. How many movie docs do you have? That's how many brand new movies you got to do. Because it's a force power that's in the movie docs world that says, hey, I'm going to take your movie and you're, you're taking a movie within a movie. Bring me another movie to extend the paradox. That's how it works. Lebowski, Obadiah Stane, Iron Man, doesn't make sense. Star Wars Mace Windu. Uh, let's see. Shazam. Shazam has one where he goes, I've seen all the Fast and Furious movies, and it's about family. Helen Mirren is in the Fast and Furious movies. Now Helen Mirren is in front of you. Movie docs. It ruins things. Movie docs. That's all.